everybody, Bearded Serb here. As you can see, we are in a new location, new rig, new setup, and also a new rebrand of the YouTube channel. We are now called Sim Shanty. Can't wait to show you guys the full rig. I do have a video of the rig in a little bit of a general sense, but today we're gonna be talking about the Sim Magic Alpha Mini. The wheel did come with the D-shaped wheel, but I also got the FX wheel, which we'll be talking about a little bit more I'll give you a little bit of details on the D-shaped wheel, but we'll go more in depth on the FX wheel itself. The Alpha Mini replaces the M10 as SimMagic's 10 Newton meter direct drive wheelbase. It comes with a fantastic quick release system as you can see here, and you can use a 50 or 70 millimeter bolt pattern in conjunction with the wheel and the button box. Also, as you can see here, are the technical specs on the screen now. And then right now it looks like the current price is 539 US dollars just for the base. Here's the base itself. As you can see, it does have front, side, and bottom mounting capabilities. There are some brackets you can also buy separately to adjust the angle if you're using the base mount. You will see the Wi-Fi looking symbol here, and the back of the wheel has five pins, which the wheel then connects to the base that way. On the back side of the base, you can see here is a safe B, which you can connect a turn-off switch. And then the CAN bus, where you can connect all the Sim Magic products with a Sim Magic hub that you'd have to have, so you can use your pedals and shifters and connect them directly to the base with the Sim Magic hub. On the other side, you do have your USB connector, which is going to go to your PC, and your four-pin power connector. All right, let's talk about this D-shaped wheel here that came with the base when I first originally bought it. I don't use this wheel much af anymore after getting the FX wheel, but I wanted to show you guys the D-shaped wheel just in case you wanted to see the original wheel it did come with. The D-shaped wheel is a pretty decent wheel. I did at one point have some issues with the lights starting to blink a bit, and after a year of having it, it did con disconnect once on me during the race. I did replace the power supply to a new version, which... SimMotion did help me out with and gave me a new power supply, so thank you for that. But I haven't had much since, uh, issue with it since. I did want to make a note of the experience I had with the D-shaped wheel itself. But here's a quick look at it. I have tried a couple different wheels, and we're going to compare this one to the CSL DD, as a lot of people have purchased. And that one was with the 8 newton meter power pack. The biggest difference really I could see between the two, the Alpha Mini just feels so much smoother and I just get a, so much more fidelity out of the Alpha Mini. Um, it was a pretty big difference though, even though that's kind of the only difference I saw, it was a big enough difference where on track the car definitely felt a little better with um, the Sim Magic wheel. And also all of that can be adjusted in the Sim Pro Manager software, which we're gonna take a look at here just in a little bit. All right, let's take a quick look at the FX wheel. I am absolutely in love with this wheel. The buttons are super clicky. Um, all the knob, the rotator knobs work really, really well. Um, as you can he uh, hear, those shifters are really nice. Um, the wheel just feels good in your hand. Really big upgrade, I think, from the D-shaped wheel. Uh, the dual clutch paddles work very well as well. Once you get those uh, programmed in, uh, Sim Magic Pro. Here's the wheel getting put on the wheelbase. Um, a satisfying uh, click. Listen to this. Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, really impressed by this wheel. Um, obviously, this is a uh, extra cost when you want to buy uh, the base. Uh, I think you can buy this base with this wheel now. Um, they also have the FX Pro, which has a dashboard on it. I did not need a dashboard. It is a great wheel, guys. I'm telling you right now. Um, the FX is a very very nice wheel nice and heavy feels good in the hand and also it comes with these stickers where you can put the stickers on the buttons to kind of illuminate uh, you know um, your your pit limiter or if you're trying to turn on and off headlights um, whatever you need they got sticker for it so it comes with a good pack of stickers the wheel looks good itself nice heavy love it and here's a video of the wheel coming off Real nice and easy, just pull back on the, the, the red quick release, super easy to do. Try to do this one handed at one point, uh, didn't work out very well. You gotta use two hands, it's a little easier to do two hands. It is pretty sturdy, pretty stiff uh, quick release, 
but you know that the wheel's not going to move anywhere. Here's a little bit of a video of it all lit up. You can actually set up in the Sim Pro Manager for that Sim Magic logo in the middle to do uh, different things. You can change the light colors on all of these things as well. Um, I have it set to the rev limiter as you can see here. Sim Magic logo does uh, illuminate when uh, you hit your red line and it, you can set it up to a couple different things. Let's take a look at the software and just kind of show you how it works. All right, here is the, the Sim Pro Manager uh, beta um, from Sim Magic. Um, the cloud saves do not work, it's just local saves. Um, but uh, here's like just the, be the, the beginning, beginning portion of this. Uh, it shows disconnected, so let me turn on my wheel. And you should see this should show connected. Once this uh, the wheel fully boots up here, this should show connected. There it goes. Um, and you can have uh, your pedals and your handbrake and shifters and stuff here as well, where you can uh, calibrate them here. If you go into your devices setting, this is where you're going to see all the basic settings and the mechanical settings that you want uh, for your. Uh, typical vehicle or whatever you're going to be doing, whatever racing you're going to be doing, if it's iRacing, if it's whatever it is. Um, I do have a test one that I like better. Oh, I saved uh, the other one. So, okay, I get it. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, um, it's got all the good functionalities as, as you're going to see in most, uh, you know, bigger, uh, you know, fan attack or semi cube. Um, it's got a night. Nice, it's got a lot of nice settings on here. And these are all obviously you can uh, hover over the uh, the question mark here and it tells you a little bit about it's not showing up on the the stream for some reason but um, in it you, if you just hover over this it does show you um, what each of these does and what what they mean and if you go into the actual device here you can see your button inputs when I hit the shifters or hit the, the buttons they light up here your clutches are being synced you can do a dual you can uh, have them differently but like you know, I'm pushing in very gently here all the way to the top. Really nice. Um, you can click on each button here and change colors um, like ABS, telemetry, RPMs, whatever you want um, for the buttons. You can click on this one, change it uh, to do different things. It, it's, it's pretty in-depth. It's actually kind of nice. Um, I haven't gotten really too deep into it. All I did was change this for RPMs just for fun. Uh, makes it look pretty cool. But you could change the colors. And things and uh, yeah nice these are these come set up for like brake bias here ABS and TC so you can change them but on the wheel itself um, it does show those so I wouldn't change these unless you really needed to just because it is showing that on the wheel itself and then you can see we got all the other uh, inputs that you can have I do not have any here's uh, the GT Pro hub that you can have um, I only have the, the wheel and the base, obviously. I don't have uh, some magic pedals. I'm using the Husenvelds, and uh, I don't have a shifter. I do mostly uh, GT uh, drive. Well, that about does it for my review of the Sim Magic Alpha Mini with the FX wheel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have to say, in general, the wheel and the base are superb. Everything feels really good. I wouldn't hesitate getting one. I know a couple friends have gotten one just based off of my recommendations, and they are very happy with them. It, you get it for a good price and you get really good quality product and the support uh, you get through some of the US based uh, distributors have been really good I've been using sim dash motion uh, they do a really good job they've helped me out like I said with the uh, so power uh, power supply that went out so they really just gave me a new one and uh, everything's been working fine since hoping to keep doing some more review videos on some of the new products that I have just to help you guys out in the future if you have any questions on the base um, please don't hesitate to ask me. There is a Sim Magic Discord channel, which I'll post in the information below. They do have a lot of good information there on uh, all their wheels and all their uh, products. They seem very helpful. I've had some issues updating the wheel before um, and the base, which helped out. Uh, but I think the Sim uh, Manager Pro has kind of worked out those bugs. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm a very small YouTuber. I just do this for fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I try to be just kind of honest and open about everything. Quality might not be as good as others, but uh, I, I do my best. So uh, thank you everybody for uh, for watching. Uh, once again, Bearded Serve here. The new rebranded channel, Sim Shanty. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care.